G'day everyone, Uncle Jojo Wall and Jika to another Rip Roaring episode. Today we're just going to recap over what we've been doing and moving ahead with our retaining wall that's on the boundary. The retaining wall itself is a solid brick wall, don't forget. It is three meters high. It's actually also taking downward pressure of a couple of steel beams as well. So it needs to be super structurally sound and it was engineered for it. So we've just installed the fur skin, we've waterproofed it all, tar paint, uh, polymer plastic, uh, Aggie drain through there too, and we've continued that all the way up to around about, it's just under three meters, so it's about 2.7 meters. We're just about to start our second skin. Before we started our second skin, <clears throat> we drilled a whole heap of holes, every 200 or 250 mil, and we've put in bars, so Rio bars. And then we've used this product here, which is called the AC100E, which is a super hardcore curing epoxy, if you will, for concrete, especially made for threaded rod and reinforcing bar, which is exactly what we wanted to do. We could have inserted the rods inside the pour, but if you remember going back a few videos of our pour, the pour was massive. And to try and hold those starter bars in position as we're going, it was just gonna be too much on the one day to be able to do all of the things, especially at 200 or 250 mil spacings. Some of the bars are full height, some of them are staggered. Wherever they're staggered, they have to overlap. So we get proper binding, as the concrete goes in and then they can't slip out from each other. Not only are we gonna be putting them vertically, we're also gonna be putting some in horizontally as well. So look out for that over the next couple of weeks as we're filling in that solid wall as we're moving up. So starter bars are in, they've been glued in or epoxied into position. Now we're starting the second skin. So check out, check it, check, check, check it out. <laughs> going to be moving on to from there we're going to start solid filling it I'll work walk I'll walk over with you creating a slurry mix how we go about it what the ingredients is and all of that kind of jazz next week so stay tuned and like always stay on real banana peels I'll see you in the soup <laughs> 